simply because Stephen Richards Covey ignores facts and popular psychology in favor of timeless ideals like justice, integrity, honesty, and human dignity. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is still a bestseller. Over more than 25 years, readers have been motivated and empowered by The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, one of the most captivating books ever published. Because of this, millions of people's lives have transformed, and this is true for all ages and professions. Let's have a look at the summary of this book and the habits. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Habit 1. Be proactive. Taking control of your life is part of being proactive. Action takers don't blame outside forces for their actions. They understand they are in charge of their actions. Reactive people, on the other hand, frequently experience negative effects from their physical surroundings. They blame external forces for their behavior. If the weather is pleasant, they feel better. If it's not, it affects their behavior and attitude, and they blame the weather for it. Initiative takers focus their efforts on their circle of influence. They concentrate on matters they have control over, such as their health, their children, or work-related concerns. Habit 2. Begin with the end in mind. This creative practice is called begin with the end in mind. It is the capacity to mentally picture something that your eyes are currently unable to view. The idea that everything is generated twice serves as its foundation. Both mental and physical creation exists. The physical creation follows the mental creation in the same way that a building follows a blueprint. If you don't actively think about who you are and what you want in life, you give other people and your environment the power to shape who you are and how your life turns out. It involves rediscovering your individuality and establishing the personal, moral, and ethical standards that will enable you to express and satisfy yourself to the fullest extent possible. Habit 3. Put first things first. Put first things first is a self-directed effort to become principle-centered. This is where habits one and two come together, as we discussed before. It happens every day, minute by moment. It addresses many of the issues raised by time management. However, habit three is about life management, as well as your purpose, beliefs, duties, and priorities. When you prioritize, you are planning and controlling time and activities for the personal priorities you defined in habit two. Habit four, think win-win. In all human relationships, a philosophy and attitude known as win-win always attempt to benefit both sides. Win-win agreements or solutions satisfy both sides' needs and provide each party with something. Both of us receive extremely good pies. You need to be both self-assured and sympathetic to pursue win-win outcomes. You need bravery in addition to consideration and sensitivity. True maturity is characterized by the harmony between boldness and caution which is required for win-win situations. Habit 5. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Effective communication skills are crucial in everyday life. Years are spent honing our reading, writing, and speaking skills, but listening abilities are sometimes overlooked. If you're like most people, you probably want to get your point over before moving on. By doing this, you run the danger of completely ignoring the other person, giving the impression that you were paying attention, barely hearing part of the conversation, or paying close attention to the words being spoken, but completely missing the point. Because most listeners do it to respond rather than understand. You listen to yourself as you mentally prepare what you will say, the questions you will ask, etc. Habit 6. Synergize. When there is synergy, two heads are preferable to one. It entails teamwork, flexibility, and taking the chance to approach problems in unusual ways. It doesn't happen on its own, though. Throughout the process, people offer all of their wisdom and expertise. Together, they are far more powerful than they are individual. By working together, we can uncover things that would be much less likely to be found on our own. What it is is the idea that the whole is greater than the sum of its spots. When people begin to communicate truly with one another and are willing to be influenced by one another, they begin to gain new insights. Disparities greatly increase one's ability to come up with new ideas. Habit 7. Sharpen the saw. Sharpen the saw refers to safeguarding and strengthening your most valuable possession you. It entails establishing a well-balanced self-renewal plan for your physical, social-emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. 
You bring growth and change into your life when you renew yourself in each of the four areas. Sharpen the saw keeps you energized so you can carry on with the other six habits. Your ability to create and overcome obstacles grows. Without this regeneration, the body gets frail, the mind turns mechanical, the emotions are raw, the spirit is callous, and the individual becomes selfish. Every day offers a fresh chance for renewal, a chance to revitalize yourself rather than exhaust yourself. Ability, knowledge, and desire are all that are necessary. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.